All right. So what happened on the CW this week, John? We had the four parts uh, crossover invasion, which of course started in uh, Supergirl vaguely, um, and it went to uh, Flash, Arrow, and uh, of course Legend of Tomorrow is where it concluded. I, I really feel they should have started picked up with it at the very beginning of Supergirl. And again, my argument is it's on. It was taking place on a different Earth. How was she to know? They they could have kicked it off with the Flash, you know, like they did with the Flash. Because it's not completely unheard of that and shows start out with focusing on completely different characters other than who the show is about. So I mean, I, don't know, I think they just wanted to. Uh, they were smack down in the middle of a spe specific storyline for her. They wanted to get that ended and at the same time get things started. Well, they were smack dab in the middle of uh, storylines for Arrow and Flash, too. Yeah, but have people really been keeping up with those storylines? Some people. Okay, other than you. <laughs> I, I think I was, I was very whelmed. As the team or the young justice would say. Okay, so all right, you weren't, which is odd here. I was actually, I actually enjoyed the Supergirl episode this week. He did, so, but you did enjoy Flash and Arrow and. Like I said, like I was very whelmed. I wasn't overwhelmed. I wasn't underwhelmed. I was just whelmed. And okay, what we are? Okay, we had some really cool Easter eggs in the yes, force. Yes, we ship, did. We've got the introduction to the Hall of whatever. <laughs> Which was the a form, Justice. former Star Labs. Uh, it was a former Star Labs uh, yeah. facility. Um, we had uh, some <sighs> brief references here and there, but my favorite reference in the entire series was on Legend Tomorrow. Everybody's favorite. Every, yeah, was when uh, Kara kind of looks like my cousin. Kara, yeah, Kara was uh, talking to uh, Felicity and um, uh, Hank Pym. Um, Hank Pym. Yeah, Hank he's an uh, Avenger. I know who the fuck he is. Who's the other the Adam dude? Fucking Brandon Ray, Roth. Ray Palmer. Ray Palmer. He's fucking Ray Palmer. He's, he's Hank Pym. All right, he, they ripped him off. Can't tell me otherwise. I think Ray Palmer came first in comics. Da. Hank Pym would beat the shit out of him. He'd beat the shit out of his wife. What makes you think he's gonna beat the shit out of Brandon Roth? Brandon uh, Roth is he the love child of David Lee Roth? Yeah. You know it's that? Ralph. Whatever. <laughs> hey, hey, Kermit. Oof, oof. <laughs> That's Ralph, dog from the Muppets. I, I, I got the reference. Yeah. <laughs> but the line was, uh, he looks at uh, Car as she walks by, looks for listening, goes, looks like my cousin. I saw a reference to the fact that Brandon Ralph, Ralph, uh, played Superman in Superman Returns. And of course, him and Felicity came to each other. That looked like one. That <laughs> was awesome. Yeah. Um, also, we got to see that this will not be the last time we see Supergirl in the CW universe. No, they don't have anything planned. But should they plan anything, she has. She has. She Cisco actually has, has a, a way to bring them over to her universe, and vice versa. Yeah. So if she needs help. You know, she's going to go to the Flash first because they're all chummy. Um, she's not going to go see Ollie first because her and Oliver do not get along. <laughs> but they did have a group they had, hug at the. They did have a moment. So, <laughs> uh, and of course, he, the Heat cool. Wave has the uh, hots for Skirt. Skirt, that was his, that was her name. <laughs> but one one thing that did happen, and I was kind of confused about because I honestly I thought that little storyline ended episodes ago, uh, was. Um, Barry and Cisco finally came together as friends after Cisco fucked with the timeline. No, it was Barry that fucked with the timeline. Well, no, it was in this in this episode, Cisco fucked with the timeline. He realized, oh hell, okay, now I see what well, we we're talking about. And what happened was when um, what's her face became Killer Frost a couple episodes ago. Right. She revealed that, hey Cisco, your brother was alive before Flashpoint. Yeah. See, there was a few episodes I missed. I'm a little behind. Um, Still didn't catch up. I, I wish we would have got, in this crossover, uh, Martian Manhunter, Ms. Martian, 
Superman and Monel. Here's the thing. I don't think we're done. This was a test. This was a test. This was the first of what I, uh, I'm going to assume is going to be an annual uh, four episode crossover event. Like next se- next seasons, we'll get another four episode, and I think they're going to they have to give us something more each time. What I would like to see is if someone can do it out there, take all four episodes: Supergirl, Flash. Uh, Arrow and Legends of Tomorrow, and even include the Supergirl Flash crossover from last season. Put them all together congruently, like almost like a movie. Yeah, um, you know, you don't you don't have to leave in the scenes from Supergirl where it shows her storyline, but show like them trying to transport those two times when she's in the middle of a battle or whatever, and yeah. then finally, I think that would probably be a little cooler. Yeah, because there's gonna there's people who don't like Legends or Arrow or Flash and Supergirl, and they're not gonna buy those DVDs or Blu-rays just to get the four part. Yeah, um, I wouldn't do that if I didn't like like if I did, if I was still in my I don't like the Supergirl series, I wouldn't do that yeah. just to get that four parts. Luckily, I do like the series now because I did give it a, a, a second or uh, a third chance. And um, but I think if they brought all the characters we know of so far, including Constantine and uh, Guardian, I think it would be interesting, and all that together to actually form the Justice League in the CW universe. I think it has potential. We could do a month-long story arc and between I, all four shows. And I just, I do want to go, I do want to go over and say um, that they could have used a generic. Alien race, mm. um, but they didn't. This race actually was in the comic books. They were and they were the there for the reason that yeah. I mean, it was straight out of the freaking comic book series. So I mean, it was pretty cool. Uh, they did have the little things on their head. Mm. Uh, the bigger the red circle meant, you know, who's more in charge. Mm. You know. So, um, what did you think of Citizen Steel's costume? I liked it. Yeah, I, I thought it was pretty cool. Um, Took me a minute to realize, oh, that's not Colossus. <laughs> uh, but that no, was pretty cool. Um, I like the way they did that. Uh, I didn't really have any complaints about this. I understood it was TV. Um, I understand that the rest of the series of all four ser- episode, uh, series is probably going to be kind of lacking certain effects and stuff because they definitely put most of all their money in this four-part crossover because... Um, those aliens look really good. They they almost look movie quality yeah. good. So they put a lot of money in that. And yeah. So oh, they really need to concentrate now on story because that's the only thing they I think they got for these. <laughs> uh, I don't know anything about Gotham. So before we start on Gotham, I just want to notate that I am so far behind. Me too. Um, the last episode of Gotham I watched is they arrested Mad Hatter. That's it. But going back to uh, CW real quick, briefly, uh, I finally got my first Funko Pops character today. Did you? Firestorm from Legends of Tomorrow. <laughs> Saw him at Target. What did you? Yeah. And I was like, you know what? <coughs> well, I, welcome. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the start. You're like, oh, he's really cool. He's the only one I really want. And then you're going to find, oh, hey, look, the Joker. I like him, too. I'm going to buy. Before you know it, you start with three, and you end up with 20, and it just keeps fucking going from there. (laughs) I think my wife would kill me because I already spend money on Star Trek timelines, um, which, surprise, we finally got the Facebook app. For Star Trek Timelines. I read that. I read that. I've been playing it. When I'm at home, I play it on the computer now, which is cool. Uh, But going over to Gotham, we're going to get to see the return in come January, whenever Gotham returns. In January. Yeah. We are going to get to see the return of Jerome. Jerome. That's probably probably what I'll pick. I mean, I'll probably go back and uh, rewatch what I missed. Um same with, you know, like uh, the CW shows. I got quite a bit. I, basically, the World Series screwed me up on the whole thing. It did. Uh, I blame the World Series, and it was totally worth it. But uh, that's when I got far behind, and I didn't catch up. But Gotham... 
It's been I, very uneventful because of how they've been doing the whole Mad City storyline. Yeah. Uh, and some Gotham real-life news. The actor who plays um, uh, Jim Gordon and uh, the actress that plays uh, Leslie Tompkins are in real life engaged. Nice. So, fuck you, dude. Get the hell off my woman. And his. That's our future ex-wife. No, no. Mine's, mine's uh, White Canary. Really? Yeah. I like those hips. Well, whatever. I'm, I'm a hip dude. No, you're not. <laughs> um, Lance. Leave my hair alone. I had this hairstyle way before Lance Bass. Bring it back. Damn straight. Don't know why, but... <laughs> he wants to be the thug chairman, man. <laughs> Uh, Lucifer. Yes. Uh, oh, so sure. we're still in the storyline where Lucifer, where Mom is trying to get Lucifer to come back with her and uh, her bro, uh, his brother to heaven. Mm. Uh, but uh, mm -hmm. Lucifer doesn't want to. He actually he's very protective of humans. It, he really wants to stay in that uh, Lucifer suit too. Oh, that's supernatural. Sorry. On Supernatural, he's Rick Springfield. Okay. I actually I thought he was Ozzy. No, Rick Springfield. Oh, he looked like Ozzy. <laughs> I saw like the first five minutes of that. Yeah. And I was just like, fucking. He went like this, and he kids went. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm done. What the fuck? Else but is no, on? Oh, practical on, jokers. On Lucifer, it was revealed that thirty some years ago, uh, God sent Lucifer's brother, the the angel that's joins him uh, in the show. Uh, God sent him down to bless a woman who couldn't have a baby. And that baby ended up becoming Detective Chloe Deckard. Oh, that was Jesus. Which is why anytime she's around, Lucifer doesn't have his powers. Ah. Uh, she's kryptonite. Pretty much, yeah. Let's go green. <laughs> Um, so I'm very interested to see where the storyline takes us. Uh, Mom isn't played by Charisma Carpenter like I originally thought, but Charisma Carpenter did uh, have playing an episode of Lucifer this season. A very terrible part. They they should they could have done so much better with her. And he's just pissed because she didn't show up in a two piece. I've seen her naked. <sighs> Who hasn't? <laughs> I'm impressed. She did Playboy. I was pretty impressed. I had it as my screensaver for the longest time before pretty my impressed. wife and I got married. Pretty impressed. <laughs> yeah. Um, what else? That you... explains the dirty computer. <laughs> Shut up. That was years ago, man. Yeah. Different the computer, too. I didn't, ew. Clean that shit. <laughs> uh, Walking Dead. Yes. Two more episodes left? Before the yep. season, series season, mid-season yep. finale. Uh, so last week we've got... Um, uh, it, La, um, Tara. Yeah. Tara. It was I her episode. Slashed. She came across... Uh, nine episodes after we last saw her take off with... I forget his name. Uh, Dread. Yeah, I call him yeah. Dreads. <laughs> I call him Dreads. And I honestly... Honestly, uh, I can I completely forgot to kind of look for it, her in the episodes. I yeah, I just um, she they did, for those who don't remember, uh, her and Rick and company went to the little satellite place and killed who they thought were all Negan's people, mm -hmm. uh, which was uh, Glenn's first actual kill. Um, and then her and Dreads took off in the RV, and we hadn't seen them for nine episodes. And I thought, you know, I completely forgot about that I did, scene. I, I thought too. they were just, like, too. in the background hanging out. You know? um, so, first off, we find out that, obviously, she still does not know that Denise died. Until the very end until of the Until the very end of the episode. She, so, she didn't know about Glenn. She didn't know about Abraham. Uh, she ends up finding uh, this little, like, uh, island of Amazon, basically. Um, they were female rednecks. Um who they distrust everyone because all their men and boys of the group were killed by Negan's saviors. Yeah. So there is a rule. If you if they see you, they kill you. Yeah. That's it. So, But Tara proved herself. So they let her live. They wanted to find more about, about her. 
they were th thinking of um, actually, you know, maybe checking out Alexandria, and they were just going to kill her. So you know, this gun. You look at it, kind of squinty-eyed. It kind of looks like a dildo. Why do you think he has such an angry face? <laughs> he has no butt part. <laughs> well, it doesn't Skeletor's mouth move up and down? <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> what are you doing? using? You're playing with toys. That's my shtick. Back the fuck off. <laughs> um, and of course, a couple episodes ago, we got to see Carl... And cool. Jesus, Carl met Jesus in the back of a truck Carl, which, uh, as they're going to the uh, Savior's. Which we'll find out more about that uh, the, the Sunday. Yeah. So. Um, this ep this past episode seemed a little bit longer, didn't it? It did, but it wasn't. It's because I think a lot hat was going on. Well, it, um, it didn't end until like 10 after. And uh, I don't know if they've it started 10 They've been doing that. They've been doing that. They've been ending like 5, 10 minutes after. They've been going the WWE route for some reason. Hmm. Um, but yeah, of course, the very end of the episode, she, uh, uh, we, we find, of course, we find out her and Dredge got lost. They, they're separated. So there's another part of her story are continuing. She gets back to Alexandria, finds out Denise is dead, finds out that uh, Glenn's dead, her, who's like her brother, her best friend. Um, Abraham's dead. So a, a lot has just got thrown on her as soon as she gets yeah. to the gate. Um, so, and that's kind of, it ended on such kind of like a sad note a little bit, but, um, and again, of course, we always say, watch Talking Dead, because a lot of these episodes that are really sad, you watch Walking Dead, you get a little bit more uh, in-depth about the episode, they cheer you up, and of course, you watch this past episode, Elvira, the Mistress of the Dark <laughs> herself was on there, as it, Cassandra I think, Peterson. I think over winter break... What I may do in between the uh, mid-season finale and when they start back up again, since I've got the entire run, I may go over the uh, Negan storyline in recommended reading. Right, cool. I also have it. I have the big compendiums, the big fat ones. Uh, I got just the individual, individual volumes. Yeah. I was doing that. They were a bitch. <laughs> Yeah, pricey. If, if you're going to do Walking Dead, you're going to catch up on the books. They have three volumes of this compendium. They're literally like this freaking thick. They're about 60 bucks if you get them straight out. But a lot of stores, like, you know, occasionally Walmart will get them in. You can get them for like 30 bucks, 40 bucks. So they're well worth it because they literally got like, what, about anywhere from 20 to 30 bucks in like one volume. So, in volume nice. three, volume th volume, towards the uh, middle end of volume two, to volume three is the Negan storyline. So I think it nice. ends at like issue 103, 102, volume, compendium three. So yeah. Um, also, something. And issue 100 is where it first climbs in the books. Um, also, uh, we haven't really brought this show up because it's become another one of those uh, crime TV shows, kind of. The new MacGyver series. Is that actually out? Yeah. <laughs> Three weeks ago, I just got caught. Uh, I didn't even know it was on yet. I just caught uh, an episode three weeks ago. They introduced Max Arch Arch Enemy. Do you remember who MacGyver's Arch Enemy? No, was? it's been ages since I've watched that show. Who was it? Murdoch. Murdoch. He was the assassin who was originally hired to kill Mac, mm. and. He oh every episode he's in he always dies at the end and he dies screaming MacGyver. But in this episode, in his introduction episode of the new series, he didn't die. He didn't die. They arrested him. <laughs> he still yelled MacGyver. No, he he said he was like, you know, I don't even really need to take these jobs anymore, but I do to keep from getting bored and. You've really made this interesting for me. I will be back, MacGyver, and I will kill you for fun. Oh, yes, I will. <laughs> uh, for those not into the new MacGyver, uh, starting, um, I believe, I didn't give an exact date, um, but if you go to, uh, I believe it's, uh, I want to say MeTV, uh, they're going to be airing the original MacGyver episodes. See, so. I, re I really like the new MacGyver, too. Um on those who like the MacGyver type shows, may remember an old TV series called Sledgehammer. 
Mm-hmm. It was kind of a comedy parody of all the old cop movies and cop shows. Uh, that is on uh, Antenna TV. So check that out. Check out local listings. Uh, we're running a little bit over on time. We'll be back with a review on Angel Cube Box Set. Stay tuned. Hey guys, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Maybe put a comment below and hit that subscribe button. And be sure to head on over to our Facebook page. Links are in the description below.